Hello! This is my day six drawing for Inktober. I really like cute weird things, so I figured a bug would be the perfect thing for me to draw. I decided to draw a praying mantis. I've always thought they were really cute looking. Plus, I guess the sort of sadistic part of me was always super amused that the female kills the male during mating. When I was a kid, I used to watch this cartoon called Maya the Bee, and the part that cracked up little kid me the most were these two background characters that was a married couple of praying mantises. And whenever they appeared, it was the husband running from his wife, and he'd be like, get away from me, whereas she would be lecturing him, going, what are you doing? You knew when we got married that I would have to eat you eventually. And it was just so funny. So that's why I chose to draw this. I thought it would also be a great chance to explore thinner lines and different textures because bugs aren't as soft as human people are. I started inking with a thin line with the intention to thicken up where needed later on. I found his anatomy kind of confusing, especially the mixture of legs. He has like his arms, a bunch of legs, but I guess the wing area, and that bendy area in the back. And they all almost seem to just bleed together to me. So I knew I'd end up having to use line thickness to differentiate the legs between each other and try and convey what's closer and what's further away. Looking back, I kind of wish I'd put cute little bows on the antenna. <laughs> I don't know why, if it's like a weird animal or a weird bug, my instinct is to cutify it somehow. I thought it was fun to add little textures to the arms and body as I did my initial inking. I think at the time I felt like it would give me a better idea of where to put the dark lines and how it would affect how the legs look inside. Here we go, that arm's ahead of everything else, so my intent was to try and make the inking around it heavier and darker than anything else. I found putting down pressure, even on these lines, created a thicker, darker line. Around this part of the drawing, I think I got a little impatient and wanted to finish it. I added more of a line around the head too, because I wanted it to pop and be a focal point. Faces are important to me, so I usually try and give them some sort of focus. Inking this was a fun lesson in pressure for me. When I think of using pressure to deal with a line drawing, I usually think of a brush pen. I'd forgotten how much pressure comes into how dark your lines are, even with pens like Microns. I tried to take advantage of that as I slowly built up the line thickness. Here I am adding another layer of thickness. I really tried to make the build up gradual. That way I could make a judgment call on how thick things need to be and not put myself in a situation where it's too late, it's too thick. Here's my praying mantis. Thanks for watching.